Paul, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nintendo. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes there is nothing in pro sports quite like a ufc heavyweight championship fight but that is a reality you've been there you've done that baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight yeah the champ walks again and he wears that proudly johnny wants to be called the champ he loves to be called the baddest man on the planet he is so skilled he's so dangerous he's so scary and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Black Mamba. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Here. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. All right, here we go, UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he hurt it bad with the jab. Really good job now to get the takedown early round one. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. This is a terrible position. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Big elbow there, Lance. Keeps the elbow there. Nice shots landing from the top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. He's having his way with him here. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger. Watch on bar here. Oh, that's getting in deep now. That's real deep, John. He's got to be careful. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. 
Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Beautiful ground strikes landing. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Making all these shots count. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. That if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. And now they are thrown on both sides with conviction. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. Takedown. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. He's postured, landed huge ground upon. The guy has to move or the fight's going to get finished. Beautiful transition. Putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Great shot from the top position. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. Oh, in good position to rip off a Kimura here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Submission defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Five engages in a single collar tie here. Man, has he come out aggressively to start this fight and landing in a pretty good clip too, connecting on a lot of shots up top to the body. Very technical striker, but tonight, really as aggressive approach as we've seen out of him in his UFC career. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time now. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. Oh, good defense, yes. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight right. gets to the ground. Five minutes oh, in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC, and he had his takedown game going early and often. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, round two. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Big power shot there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Separation from his clutch position. That one was clean. Great punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, nice hook. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Oh, lands 
Gets another hook. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Nice shot lands downstairs. Got tagged a couple times. Nice combo. counter stuffs the takedown no problem big punch lands in the middle well he's certainly keeping busy dc connecting with most of the punches he's thrown i mean punches in bunches he's doing a great job all right so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike and that one's clean i mean this guy just swells me with his strike and he knows exactly what he wants to accomplish and he does a great job of doing just that. Busy in the clinch, lands that punch. Oh, nice takedown defense. Immediately gets the underhook. And now some separation. Collar tie here in the clinch. Leg kick is true. He does everything so well, and he's so tall. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Counters with a left punch. Oh, Superman punch! All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Oh, Alright, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Alright, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor. Jim. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Big shot to the head. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him. Great ground strikes here. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. 
All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, nice kick. Well, he hasn't really showed any size. Oh. Takedown defense holds up. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other hook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Yeah, he's a half guard here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a... Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. In the half guard. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another grounded pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. He's got to be careful here. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Massive shot from the top. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get it under him on one side, the half guard on the other, and then you just takes his back. Oh, that is some severe swelling. I hate to speculate, not a doctor, but you might be staring at a fractured orbital there. Oh, good ground and pound here. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. guys are back and forth but the submission defense wins this transition trying to recover full guard there well sometimes our staff guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers there have been a lot of them here submission defense has held up every step of the way yeah he's a great grappler and he's really really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Final seconds here. Now drops inside that close guard, you see. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he 
he attacks a submission or a big body. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best five-minute stands as you will ever see from a fighter. Rocked him multiple times, unable to get him out of there, but came pretty darn close. He did come close to finishing the fight, but he didn't get it done. Now, it will be on him to try and stay patient, try to find the kill shot without overextending himself and putting himself in trouble. Well, I will no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity Ready, to stay in Ready. the fight because the reality Ready. is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Always busy here with the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. Takedown defense holds up. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh! Nice. Nicely done. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Marching, there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take line takedown attempts. You can't just shoot. you got to set your opponent up to get that shoot. He's going after that cut over and over again, and every time he lands, the cut gets worse. Nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. While well, targeting is a penalty in football, not here as he continues to attack that swelled area. And very effective with the ground and pound. Good, solid strike on the ground. Another ground and pound strike lands. Oh, some big punches raining down here. Picking his spots well and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily, posturing up and, and making right those shots count. I right mean, why would he when he's having so much success doing it and fighting in this exact same manner that's leading them to be ahead in the fight right now? Oh, man, how much can one man take right on that already swelled area? Might need to call in the doctor here soon. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Big ground and pound. Ground and pound, the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
Now he's going full mount. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Fighters are inverted now on the ground. Yeah, he's trying to get to the darts here. That submission looks tight. It looks like the dart choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his hips, try to hook the leg so that his opponent can't move his out. back. Oh, he got out. He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that dart choke. Like that. Like that. What a fight so far. All right, incredible drama here in this fight. I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in it, given all that swelling around his eye. We'll see what the cut man can do to stop the swelling here over these 60 seconds. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh, he might get finished here. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with it. He's hurt. He's hurt. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? Oh! And landed some nasty strikes. Right hand. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Absorb damage like this, you start to worry about a guy missing the rest of the year. At what point, if you're the referee, do you call him an inside position? Well, right now, yeah. I feel like a bit, a little bit ago. You could have called him a ringside like position, that. and no one would have cared because you look at him and you see that he has been thoroughly beaten. And tonight is just not his night. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. You got fight. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Great job landing from the top position. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, he escapes. He got out. Wow, that is great submission defense. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Lands the ground and pound strike. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. He has to have 
Bogart. Oh, right into Mouse. Oh, he just continues to attack that cut around the eye. Oh, he's got his back. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, side control now. There it is, now he's going to mount. Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Daniel. Oh, he's gotta be careful here. with the ground and pound here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Get the out here. Oh, man, another strike gets through, and now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. Final seconds of the fight. All right, feet on the hips here. Beautiful submission attempt here. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is not there. All out action right through the final minute. Nobody in this arena is sitting down. What a fight. All right, Ladies the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buck. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 50 45, 50 44, and 50 44. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still. The undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. Well, DC, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. Things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has all the skills to reign atop a volatile division for a long time.